Okay, so we are working on TJ04, the shaft guide. Um, so here I have all my planes turned on and visible. Um, let's set our material first. Uh, right click, edit material. And we'll go down to aluminum alloy and go find 6061, which is down a ways. Let me show you here. There's that view. So we'll go down a ways and find 6061 alloy and hit apply and close. back to the part so so we're ready to start drawing it so um, select the top plane and we'll do an extruded boss base there's a circle right on the center line here and another circle within it and pretty sure that made it snap yeah so uh, we do outer diameter is um, 0.75 times 2 and this guy is 0.75 and that's all there is for this that's the first step and then you hit the Hit the check on the right side, and you're extruding now. So we want to extrude mid plane. Actually, you know what? Let's just start it, do a blind. And it's supposed to be an inch deep, but our little overhang piece is about a quarter inch thick. So we're gonna do this at 0.75. That'll give us starter. So we do that. We no longer need the top plane. We still need the other two planes. <coughs> I'll go ahead and do an extruded cut uh, from the front plane. And it's a circle. We just need to make sure that we add the relation to snap it to this plane to get it centered on the part. And then we'll give it a dimension of 0.25. And we'll hit the check. Should be right, right? Is it? Why didn't it turn black? Is it the, oh, it's the it's the distance. So the point needs to go from the bottom to the center. There we go, and that should be half an inch. Yeah, that'll be okay. It it'll fix itself in a moment when we make the next part of it. So uh, hit the check and that's going the wrong way so reverse the direction and do up to next and hit the check there's your hole and then the next part will be another extruded boss base we'll do top view and we'll get a circle snap it to that circle, snap it to that. We just need to make sure that, um, like, see that one's not actually snapped. So we need to add a relation to the circle that exists, co-radial, and it'll snap that one. And same thing with the outer diameter, add relation. What's going on here? Click it, add relation and the outer diameter co-radial 
There's that. So those the two circles, but then we have this leg that's kind of running over here, tangential. That comes down, that comes over. And we've got a couple of radiuses on it. Those radiuses are 0.125. I hit the check. And then let's do. <coughs> we got here the dimension here. That guy should be 0.6 wide. So I'll drop it down a little bit. And then uh, it should be taken from the center point there. Uh, 1.75 long. And then we're going to do hit escape and you want to do trim entities. And we'll use select power trim. And you just want to kind of left click and hold down. Left click and hold down and drag it across that part of the circle and let go and and then hit escape so now your this edge right here is no longer part of the sketch the sketch just includes the outer here and part of the circle um, and then we're missing one more fillet that's uh right here also 0.125 <coughs> And that's it that I can tell. Mm, yeah, that looks about right. Um, we could go ahead and add this hole over here. So I'll click that. And we'll give it a dimension of 0.25. It is three from that top edge and how far is it from that's point four from that side point four Hit escape okay so now we have all of our dimensions and when we hit the check this should Extrude correctly. Yep, there it is. So that looks a little too thick. Um, yeah, it's a little too thick. Uh, it should be only a quarter thick, 0.25. And then hit check. And there's the rest of the part. That's according to the drawing they have. And then just checking all my dimensions to make sure that I have everything that I need. Um, you could check to make sure that this radius here, oh, it's, it, see, it's viewing it in millimeters. We need to view in inches. 0.75 is the radius, that's correct. Okay. And then what we want to do next is click on mass properties. So when you click on mass properties, this um, view will appear. And you just, uh, for this assignment, you need the mass and the volume, including the units. So your mass here is 0.14 pounds and your volume is 1.47 cubic inches. And that's all you need for this assignment.